Hello again, everyone. Edward Leonard back once again in this YouTube astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about transit Pluto square opposition or in conjunct one's natal moon. Now, when we're talking about transits that involve Pluto, it can be about power, control, transformation, crisis, uh, desire, um, obsession, and fixation. Now, when transit Pluto is basically making an adverse aspect to one's natal moon, now I'm going to elaborate on when I say basically um, adverse aspect. Well, squares and oppositions, of course, those aspects are adverse and negative in astrology. Now, the in conjunct, though it's neutral, um, can have um, good and bad qualities in it, and coupled with the fact that an in conjunct uh, can be about an adjustment or a transition. And of course, that can cause some exasperation and tension. So collectively, basically, I do see this as an adverse aspect. Now, when transit uh, Pluto uh, basically uh, makes an adverse aspect to one's natal moon, well, it may manifest in power, control, uh, transformation, crisis, um, desire, um, obsession and fixation, those things may conflict uh, with your emotional needs. You may be, you may wind up being overly fixated on something that maybe, you know, the emotional needs are put, you know, on the back burner, or it could be a crisis that you may have to deal with, may conflict with those, um, with those emotional needs um, at this time. I mean, say, if the natal moon is in Pisces, it could simply be, you know, it could be playing, you know, emotional needs may be playing fantasy games or, you know, simulated games uh, of some kind, or, you know, just uh, could be the metaphysical, which includes astrology, poetry, dancing, photography, as some examples. And these things might be put on the back burner, so to speak, if you're dealing with some crisis or dealing with upheavals in your life. Now, another thing, um, the moon is also connected with the mother and the family. And the thing about um, this is when you have um, this transit, you might be dealing, you know, could be power struggles, with the mother, um, it may be, you know, could be a situation where um, this person or the mother or the fam, some prominent family member, someone you're close to home with, may be more manipulative at this time. It could be that maybe they're dealing, um, they could be, again, it could be, you know, a power struggle that they may be dealing with. Um, Maybe there's a crisis that they that these people are going through at this uh, point in time, and the thing about um, this too is you might in the moon. Um, sorry, Pluto is also connected with what we desire, and at this time there might be some issues where you're not where your desire is not maybe you know with you know matters with you know your home, your family life, people that you're close to home with at this point in time where the mother it, those things just might not be there as far as what is desired and uh, it could be that a crisis you may be dealing with may be conflicting with these matters as well and uh, the moon is also about our reactions and responses so we have to be careful when you have this transit you know you're again you're talking about basically an adverse transit and you know, you don't want to be reacting in a way that might be, you know, vengeful or revengeful or what have you, you know, or, you know, expressing destructive emotions uh, at this time. Emotions may be a little bit, you know, more turbulent at this time, uh, more so uh, you know, than usual. And it can be a time to, I mean, the moon is also uh, about our feelings. And it might be hard to control the feelings at this time if you have been trying to suppress them or hide them for whatever reason, whether you know, it's the feelings you might have for somebody that you would like as a safe perspective, significant other as an example. It could be something where those feelings may not, um, it, it might be harder to hold them back at this point in time more so than usual. Um, you know, there's, um, if the moon is in Aries, it could be very acerbic or, you know, acrimonious type of emotions that may be, may be harder to control at this time. Um, the moon is also connected uh, with the unconscious. And it might be, you know, it could even be, I mean, if you're sleeping, you know, if you've got an issue or somebody has died recently, 
that might conflict with it. It might be where if you're dealing with crisis or some upheavals in your life, that might be, you know, factoring in, you know, to your, you know, your being able to lay down and, and, and sleep at this point in time. And there might also be, you know, something in your, in your unconscious that, you know, might be connected. It might be with the death. It might be something might have been a figurative death and ending or obliteration of something might be impacting you, you know, moving uh, moving forward. As an example, I mean, say, I mean, if you've had a business that was terminated, that, that didn't succeed, that folded, that was, you know, talking about a figurative death, it might be impacting you on an unconscious level and you might not really be realizing it at this time. Now, um, also too, the moon anatomically speaking is connected with the stomach, the chest, the breast, uh, water retention, ribs, and this could be a time where, um, you know, those th if, you, if you've had issues with those previously, it might be, you know, gaining, you know, more control over you, or it might be harder to keep those, those issues at bay under control at this time, trying to gain power over uh, those problems might not be that easy at this uh, point in time. And um, the thing about um, this is as well, and, and also, I mean, if you are dealing with a crisis, I mean, there are things where, where I believe that you could have some, you know, some kind of worry could actually exacerbate physical pain. I don't know if that's called psychosomatic. You may want to confer that on the internet and look that up or what have you, but uh, it could be that there might be some you know, traumatic experience you've had or an upheaval or crisis might be making those matters worse if you do have any of those issues that are anatomically connected with the moon. Um, the moon is also associated with our past and our memories. So it could be a time to where these, it could be negative memories you know, might be dominating you at this time, or you, know, you feel like they got some power over you and you can't seem to let it go. You don't want, you know, to act out on vengeance due to some kind of memories of you know, something that happened, you know, say years ago, um, say, because remember, Pluto is connected you know, with revenge and the moon is our past and our memory. So it's very important this time, you know, to try to be level headed and not let, you know, something, you know, especially something that happened, you know, perhaps some some years ago, impact what you're going to be doing, you know, at this point in time. And uh, the thing too about um, this as well is that um, you may also, you know, at this time, um, keep in mind. I mean, the moon is about our home, and it might be harder if you're trying to transform your home life. You're, it could be, you know, an actual, you know literal transformation of your current home, you know, whether it's you know, remodeling, renovation, or adding a partition, those things might be a little bit harder to do at this time, whether it's, you know, distractions in your life or what have you. Um, another thing, too, is that the moon is also connected uh, with our safety and security at this time, and it could be that there, there might be some crime or corruption, some criminal activity, you know, uh, where you're at, it might be, you know, playing a role in how safe, you know, safe you are. I mean, Pluto is about viruses as well, and I mean, it's corruption. I mean, even if you have, you know, your computer corrupted and say it was sent by somebody that sent a malicious email to you, you might feel even in a situation like that, if you're having this transit, that your safety and security is in jeopardy at this point in time. Now, um, another thing is another way that this transit may manifest. It could be where you may become overly fixated uh, with your emotional needs. Say, for example, if the natal moon is in Aquarius, it could be something with astronomy or meteorology, electronics, computers, astrology, uh, humanitarianism. Uh, at this time, as some examples. Uh, there may also be greater uh, propensity for, um, could be manip manipulation connected with a family member, whether it could be, it may, may not necessarily be through, you know, you, you may not be the one trying to manipulate, it could be the other way around, you could be on the receiving end of it at this time. Hold on a moment, people.
Sorry about that, I'm back. But anyway, let's say if the moon is in Taurus, as an example, it could be manipulation connected uh, with money um, at this time, or it could be something that might impact your you know, self-worth. It could be you know, where somebody might be demeaning you or you know, putting you down and trying to make you feel you know, less than what you are, as some examples. Uh, another thing, too, is that there might also be, you know, more proclivity for emotional ma manipulation, whether you're victimized by it or some isolated case, you might even be expressing it. Um, it could be a time, too, where, um, you know, crisis at this time you may be dealing with may challenge doing things that are associated with emotional security. Uh, let's say, for example, if the... Um, you know, your, your moon, you know, is an Aries. It could be doing something, you know, with self-defense or the, or the martial arts at this time, um, which actually, you know, could be good if you're dealing with any, uh, if you're dealing with any crime in your area and you're having uh, this transit at this point in time. I mean, at the time of this video, of course, transit Pluto is in Capricorn. At the time I made this video, transit Pluto is in Capricorn. So you're having... Um, the square your moon is going to be um, in Aries so that could actually be a time if you're doing you know if you're dealing with some crime or corruption in your area it could be the time where maybe the you know, I would say you know having the moon in Aries that doing something with self-defense the martial arts can actually be beneficial try to combat what's going on if you don't if you don't feel safe and you feel like you might be you know in some cases under some possible physical attack in, in your area it's a violent area as an example now another thing too is that there might be more you know of a tendency there you know, more you know, tendency to have power struggles you know with a prominent woman in your life those things might be more prevalent at this time uh, say if the moon is in Scorpio um, as an example um, you know, or you know this could be you know, it could be over matters with insurance or will over inheritance as an example um, this could be uh, something too um, or even if it's Pluto is in the eighth trans Pluto is in the eighth house it may manifest in the same manner um, because the eighth house is connected with wills inheritances and it's also shared resources um, another thing too if you have any issues with the bladder the prostate the colon they may um, it might really you know be at this time you may you really might not feel like doing you know those things that could be connected with your uh, you know your moon placement because the moon is about how we feel and say if the moon is in your natal moon is in Gemini it could be short journeys or you know, just general communications or doing things that require dexterity like auto refrigeration mechanics even juggling anything that requires strong use of the hands or something with manual requires you know, manual dexterity um, as an example and, and keep in mind Pluto is associated with toxins and the moon is connected with food in its stomach so just be very wary at this time because it is basically an adverse transit even the in conjunct as I stated before being a neutral transit can have good and bad qualities to it and it could also be about health related matters so it's something to just keep in mind at this time during this transit anyway people that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment until next time people Edwin Learner signing stay well